Okay, so this is um, lesson three. It's the second video. So this is the other half. So we're looking at a cooking pan. We mentioned in the first video that every time we draw a cube or a cuboid now, we refer to it as a crate. So the cooking pan is going to require two crates in order to construct it. So I'm going to pick my lowest point. Um, I'm, going to draw, I'm going to draw two actually. So I'm going to draw a vertical line. And on this side, I'm going to draw another vertical line. I'm going to go 30 degrees to the left. 30 degrees to the left on this one and on this one we're going to go 30 degrees to the right and 30 degrees to the right on this one now what we then need to do is decide upon the width and the depth of it so in order to fit this in i'm just going to make it two cent two and a half centimeters on this side two and a half centimeters on that side send that one up now this one i'm going to do it slightly differently so this one i've done two and a half so that gives me five of those little squares this one i'm going to do it three I'm going to make that one. So that's three centimeters, which gives me six of those little squares. And I'll explain why I've done that in a minute. So I'll mark that one. So that's three. I'm going to send that one vertically upwards. This one vertically upwards as well. So I'll pick the height. So I'm going to do these round about the same height um, so we can see them. So I'm going to do them around about two centimeters. So 30 degrees to the left, 30 degrees to the right. This one is going to be two centimeters here. So 30 degrees to the left and 30 degrees to the right. And then I'm gonna bring this back 30 degrees. This is gonna come back on itself at 30 degrees. And the same with this one. So it's what we've done on a number of lessons, particularly the first lesson. Now on this one, what I want to do is attach a handle to the side. You could do it on any of the sides if you want to. But on this one, because this is, if I, I don't know if you can see this, but because it's made, I've gone for 2.5, it means I've got a square here, 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 and here. So in order to get the handle in the middle, I'll have to choose the middle square here. So you can see that, so that's where the middle square, so the handle's in the middle. This one, because I've gone for, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. If I was to choose one of them, it wouldn't be in the middle. So this time I'm gonna have to choose two squares in order to ensure that the handle is in the middle. So I've drawn them with a vertical and a 30 degree line. What I now need to do is make that handle protrude out. So it's, this is gonna be a bit unnatural, but with my ruler, I'm gonna draw it coming out from each of the corners, but it's going down to the, the right at 30 degrees. So it's going down at 30 degrees, down at 30 degrees. The same with this one, it's going down at 30 degrees, down at 30 degrees, and down at 30 degrees. What I then need to do is decide how long the handle is gonna be. So choose your length. So this one's gonna go vertical, as soon as it touches that line, it's going to go at 30 degrees. As soon as it touches this line, it's going to go down vertical. Now there isn't a line to stop it, so I'm going to have to use that one and go across at 30 degrees. The same with this one. If I mark the length of it, go vertical, 30 degrees, and then when it touches that, go down and then across. So what I now need to do is make it transparent so I can see through the crate. So A and B, which is there, I'm going to draw just a 30 degree line in. There we go. And the same on that one. In fact, you're not really going to see this one, but I'll draw it in anyway. This one, A and B, I'm going to mark this one 30 degrees in. And then we're going to come in 30 degrees. I'm going to borrow that line there, 30 degrees. So what we now need to do is just do our isometric cylinders like we've done before. Now, one of them, I'm going to do it slightly differently to see you see what could happen. So if on here, if I draw my smile on this one, I've got my smile on this one. I've got my unhappy face on this one, unhappy face on that one. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna really stretch it out like I've been encouraging you. So I've got a letter C, letter C, backwards letter C on here, backwards letter C on here. And then just like we did in the second lesson, I'm gonna link them up with a vertical and the same with that one. There we go, so we've got a cylinder. Now if I keep it narrow, watch what happens now. So I've got my half each of the lines. So I've got my smile, unhappy face, Keep them wide, smile, unhappy face. But this time, if I keep those, the letter C and the backwards letter C narrow and link them up with a vertical line, you can see here there's a gap. The actual handle is not attached. So that's why we need to make sure that circle comes right out and right out on this side. And the same with this one, right out and right out on here. So I've got a vertical vertical now the handle is actually in the middle it's attached to the surface of the cylinder now rather than leaving your handle like that we can shape the handle oops let's knock that off so we can start here and i just draw a diagonal line up to the top here just to make it with a 30 degree line to make it a bit slicker 
Same with this one, you could draw a collar on it if you wanted to. And then we could draw little waves where your fingers could go. Make it a bit thinner at one end, something like that. And then we could put some material thickness. We can run that round the side here. Same with that one, run it all the way around here. We could even do a bit of shading on this one. So if the light source is coming from this side. This is gonna be dark here. So I'm just gonna kind of, just making the camera move. So this is gonna go lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter until it goes really light. Leave a bit of a white area. This bit's gonna start off darker and then it's gonna go lighter, lighter and lighter and lighter. So we've now got our pans. Remember those of you kind of grasping this quickly, you could always turn it on its side. So we could draw another crate, do it slightly thinner this time, so it's a bit like a frying pan. I can draw on where the handle's gonna go, bring that out. So there's my handle. I've got my isometric circle on this face. I've got my isometric circle on that square there. So you should see the inside of this thin pan. And then I've got my pan handle, something like that. So if you're making pancakes, there's the pancake coming out of the side. Okay, so we've got isometric, so we've got the crates. The important thing is that they, all the boxes now, we're gonna call them a crate because it holds the drawing, just like a milk crate does, it holds the milk in place.